Now then, welcome back to the channel everyone. Uh, if this is your first time here, do me a massive favour, just go down and hit that big thumbs up button just below, it helps people like you and me find these sorts of videos. Uh, but yeah, it's been a while since I've been out camping, uh, I'll get into that a little bit later on. Uh, but I'm just doing a, a local, so I guess it's a stealthy one, uh, I'm in the local nature reserve. Yeah, so I'm going to try and find somewhere to throw this hammock up, nice and tucked away, uh, out of the way people, uh, nice simple food, nice simple camp, get me back in the swing of it, you're making these videos again, as I said I've had a little small break, uh, so yeah, stick with me. Hello. Those of you that are interested in this bit, this is the Haven Hammock 10 XL. I've set up for the first time for a, a night's sleep. I've done a review video on that which I'll uh, flash up on screen for you now. But let's go through the gear that I've brought with me tonight. So as I said, uh, Haven uh, XL insulated pad. This is the uh, Nemo Disco rated down to minus nine on there awesome sleeping bag this awesome so brightly cold on the inside and it's sort of like a spoon shape as well so it gives you that little bit of space uh, to sort of toss and turn which is why i brought it with this one looking forward to getting a good night's sleep in this uh, so i pumped the pad up using that that's the flex tail gear uh, tiny pump two I believe and then that's just the box that I keep it in don't come with that but I keep it in there I brought my phone ridgeline holder because I'm going to be watching England uh, USA very shortly uh, I've got my Phoenix CL26R on the ridgeline as well and then the Osprey EFA 55 just sort of carabiners up there as well uh, carry your bag down there for my boots in a minute that I'm going to put in that pocket but on the far end uh, as you can see now, uh, what? Let's have a look at the time. 20 to 6. So we'll go through this as well. So I brought with me my uh, snug pack base layer. So these are the bottoms and the top. And then for my feet later on, these are the sock, the Yeti from Feet. Um, which I'll leave a link in the description so you can go pick some out. These are absolutely awesome for this time of year camping. Um, and then food that I brought with me tonight, just nice and simple uh, veg chilli uh, from Wayfarer, uh, sent to me by one of my subscribers, so I thought let's make some use of that. And I got some snacky bits for later on, a couple of little chocolate bars, let's face it, one seven enough. up. A packet of this sweet chilli crunch. A packet of midget gems. And then a couple of these gin and rhubarb or something, gin, rhubarb and ginger uh, drinks. 
in there I've got my pan, my stove, uh, like a piezo igniter coffee, see if I can do it with one hand. Yeah, so I've got my stove and my pan, and uh, the piezo igniter, and you're down here. Pan handle, and then there's some fire lighting stuff in there just in case I need it, but I'm not going to need it tonight. And obviously the uh, can of gas, that's it. Right, let's uh, jump to the rest of the vid. Right, well, welcome back. Uh, as I've said, it's about quarter to six now. Can you see that on there? So all I've done is I've just done a, a little bit of tidying up. Can you see that? Yes, no, maybe so. Anyway, done a little bit of tidying up, put all the snacks in the larger pocket up at the top there. And that's one of the, the good things about this. Haven XL hammock, there is plenty of storage, and having your backpack up on the ridge line as well, it's just absolutely awesome. No need to have anything on the floor or anything like that, it's just great. Um, looking forward to trying it now. I've heard there's a couple of little things with it uh, from Novice Wild Camper. Whee, where are you going? Uh, from Novice Wild Camper, that there's a couple of little bits that aren't brilliant with it, um, and I've had a look at it, thrown it up a couple of times. And I can see what it means, so I've got some ideas in mind to modify it later on. So if you're not already subscribed, go down and subscribe to the channel and you can look out for future videos on this. While you're down there as well, just again, hit that big thumbs up button. Uh, as I said earlier, it helps people like me and you um, find more videos like this and obviously keeps me up in that algorithm. So if you would, please, thank you very much. Uh, but yeah, where have I been? Uh, so scouting's been uh, busy again with reopened again after school holidays uh, so we've already been my wife and myself have been running squirrels again uh, and cubs uh, done a fair couple of bits on weekends together my wife's been uh, doing some training um, for scouting as well so I've not been able to get out there was a weekend where I was poorly um, and then last weekend um, we were both on a, an outdoor first aid course honing up on the skills um, uh, as you both know, we both work for medical professions. I mean, an ambulance driver, uh, my wife's uh, a nurse, or should I say, a senior sister. Sorry, Danielle. Uh, senior sister. Um, so we're just holding up on the skills. And last weekend, we managed to camp out in a hammock hot tent. Uh, the one tigress rock domus. Now, <laughs> last weekend, it dropped down to about four or five degrees outside, roughly. Now that was just too hot for me, absolutely too hot for me. Um, I had the stove going, I was just down to my, my kecks at one point. Um, and lovely and warm, but just too hot for me. Uh, I need it to be down to zero, I think, before I start using a hot tent. Uh, but Danielle loved it. You know, she was lovely and warm. Uh, we were in the one wind set up inside the one tigress hammock, uh, Rock Domus. Uh, just awesome. Uh, combination the rock domus was so spacious on the inside um, and obviously you can set it up in a couple of different ways uh, so I'll bring that to the channel at some point uh, but at the minute it's oof, hot tenting is not for me not just yet uh, we're in November um, as I said earlier England versus USA is on in about an hour um, so yeah that is that so I think enough waffling for now I'm gonna start uh, and I'm going to empty that packet out and cook it in the pan um, and then sort of decant it into a bowl so I can just sit and eat it leisurely uh, rather than out of the packet brought me some wet wipes to look after it later on um, but yeah, I'm going to enjoy this at night now if you're not a regular to the channel you might not recognise where we are but if you are uh, the stealth camp that I did on the golf course, we're not too far from there, I actually cut through this bit to get to the, the golf course, so I'm not too far, the wall is about 30-40 yards behind me. Um, but yeah, that was another good video, used some good gear in that one. But yeah, right, uh, yeah, tea time. Okay there, in sheer view, the uh, skyline in the background as well. I am so looking forward to getting that. Flat layer hammocks, people. Is it for you? Is it for me? We'll find out in the morning. This is, as I said, this is my first night in there. 
and I am absolutely looking forward to it. I just hope I'm not disappointed because of how I'm used to sleeping in a hammock. I reckon the flat layer is going to really benefit me because I am a bit of a tosser and turner. Ooh, my language. But yeah, I'll be on my side, on my back, on my front. Um, so I reckon I'll be nice and comfortable in that. Don't look pretty bad, does it? So while I've not been uh, able to get out, we easy tiger. Almost lost you then, didn't I? That was a good catch, wasn't it? How's that look? A bit wonky. A little bit woo, a little bit weak. Um, but yeah, while I've not been able to get out, I've actually been catching up a lot on uh, some of my uh, good friends who are also in YouTube. Uh, so first of all, English Woodsman, uh, congratulations mate on achieving 50,000. I think it's been that long since I've been out. I know you're almost at 54, 55 maybe now. Uh, awesome feat. Um, well done buddy. And I, if you're not a regular, uh, you'll know that, you'll, or if you are a regular, you'll know that I go out with English Woodsman quite a lot. Uh, it's just not been the case over the last few weeks again my fault busy all the time uh, but then another couple of my friends uh, Matt from Matt's Mindful Meals almost at 1000 subscribers so if you're not please go over to his channel give him a like and subscribe and all that jazz does some fantastic cooking in the outdoors lives up in Scotland um, I'll leave the link in the description to the video that I did while I was up in Scotland with him um, but yeah he's, uh, he's another great lad um, Vegan Dan uh, he's done a couple of tent reviews recently, I don't think he's been out camping as much either, I think he's uh, stuck indoors for whatever reason. Um, so yeah, we'll see what, what's going on with him. And then lastly, um, Grizzly Gas. What's going on there mate? It just boomed. Yeah, well done. Uh, done a lot of uh, rather dramatic videos. He's been spooked a couple of times while he's been camping and giving up camping. Uh, giving up camping. Like sort of given backward on uh, camping nights, but I've done some phenomenal videos, and his channel has just absolutely took off. So congratulations uh, there, Grizzly Gaz. So all of them, English Woodsman, uh, go on, subscribe to the, all of these English Woodsman, Matt's Mindful Meals, uh, Vegan Dan or Vegan Outdoorsman, uh, and then obviously Grizzly Gaz. So congratulations, all of you guys. I've been catching up on all your videos, you banging out some great content. Yeah, another couple that I do watch uh, that I don't know personally that what I have spoken to in the past uh, Hazy um, he's he's your man isn't he? he's, he's full of comedy that man um, so yeah go and check out Hazy if you're not already I'm sure you are if you're an outdoorsy sort of YouTube subscriber um, but another one that I like is step away from the screens um, it just bimbles around I don't know if it's Isle of Man or Isle of White. Um, just loves it, slags himself off, has a good laugh, gets drunk. Just living the dream, living the dream. So yeah, step away from the screens. Uh, yeah, there's some, some really good sort of channels and content out there if, if you've got that time to go and sit and look through it all. Um, hopefully now I'll be getting back out again a little bit more often. I'll, Taking a sort of step back in scouting and doing half as much as I used to do, so I'm just doing two nights a week now. Um, so hopefully I shouldn't be tied up on weekends as much. Um, but I, you know, I made a commitment to these kids to sort of teach them skills and give them a good time in scouting, and you know that's what I'll continue to do. Uh, so when we are away at weekends, I will do apologise. I might be able to film a setup and cooking video while I'm there, but it won't be out extravagant while I'm on uh, scout sites so yeah uh, this chilli's warming nicely by the smell of it so I'm going to tuck into that not going to look too bad does it as I said it's a veg chilli um, so 
normally I'd have like a, a chili con carne, which the con carne means the meat. So I don't know what you'd call a, a veg chili. Is it a veg? Uh, is it a what is it? Chili chili non carne maybe? Chili no meat? Who knows? Let me know in comments if you know. But yeah, actually smells and looks all right. And I've uh, slagged pouch meals off in the past for being sort of flavourless and tasteless, but. This one don't look too bad, they're just expensive aren't they? That's why I uh, tend to make my own meals when I'm out. And I bought the uh, foil packaging, so I can make my own meals and make my own sort of boiling the bag meals. Yeah, I'll give that another minute or two. There's been a lot of waffling in this one, haven't there? Sorry. But uh, it's been a while since I've been out, so I'm just, I don't know, I suppose catching up with you guys and catching up with myself. Since I've been out, as I say, it's, you've seen quite early. I've not seen another soul. So, I know this time of year can be quite difficult for a lot of people. I know it's difficult to get out and do a lot of filming. Because uh, obviously lighting's pretty poor and whatnot. So I've gone and picked up another light uh, for the GoPro. This is a Yelanzi somewhat rubber. I'll flash it up on screen because I can't remember what model number it is. But it's um, a little Yelanzi light. But this time of year, it can be quite difficult for a lot of people. Uh, they can suffer from something known as SADS or... Uh, is, it, is it seasonal and some disorder? I don't know. Anyway, I'll flash that up on screen as well. So if you are uh, suffering from any of that, any sort of mental health issues and that, my inbox is always open. Uh, drop me a line or... In fact, I know a couple of guys uh, in the Bradford area that have started up Andy's Man Club and there's a couple of groups that you can attend in Bradford there's a, um, I'll leave details to them in the description box below but yeah don't let this time of year get you down and if it's not just this time of year and you are just down generally you know reach out to somebody go and have a brew come and sit around a campfire with somebody you know get it all off your chest it's exactly what I've done in the past and it's helped me no end so yeah go out reach out to somebody Reach out to me, reach out to Dan, reach out to your partners, your loved ones, your friends, or strangers. Or if you need that extra bit of professional help, don't be frightened to go and uh, get some counselling. I'm living proof that counselling works. Um, I've been in counselling a couple of times. Again, if you're new to the channel, uh, the reason the channel's called Oscar is down to my little boy Oscar that passed away, uh, coming up six years ago uh, now. so. It's been a, a torrid time for me, so I've been in and out of counselling on medications and whatnot over the past six years. So yeah, don't be frightened. You, you know, you can get back up, pick yourself back up. And unfortunately, you've just got to play the hands you've been dealt, haven't you? So you know, but reach out, talk to someone if you're struggling. Right, that's done, I think. So yeah, not too much waffling. I'm just going to give you a, a sort of quick review of this after a couple of mouthfuls of it. But I'm not going to let you sit here and watch me eat this. I'm starting to finish the steam coming off that. That's actually quite tasty. Hmm. Yeah. Some good flavours coming through. Look like chickpeas in there, as well as kidney beans, a little bit of rice, onions, maybe a few peppers. Yeah, it's not too bad actually. Hmm. Right, see you soon. Just quickly washing up now. Look after your gear. <laughs> right, well, I've uh, finished my tea. Jumped in the hammock, ready to watch football. It's just a little after half past six now, so I'm gonna uh, chill out, get some of the snacks sorted, get my, uh, my stall set up, so to speak. Uh, watch some football, and when we win, 
I will come back and uh, keep you updated with the score. Obviously, you should have watched this uh, in real time anyway. So you should already know the score, but obviously you'll see my reactions to it later on. Uh, right. Oh, right on cue, that's the wife thing. I'll see you soon. Yeah, he's been the one. Today, Richarlison. Got to say, I've been laid here now a good half hour. 15 minutes into the first half and I am extremely comfortable and extremely warm. Uh, wind's picking up a little bit outside so I am getting a bit of a side wind sort of coming through so I'm going to batten down the hatches in a minute with the tarp. Uh, other than that, it's uh, a thumbs up for me. I think I'm going to have a, a great night's sleep in this. Right, I'm going back to watch football. Well, a bit bright. That's uh, 90 minutes of my life I'm not getting back, but credit to USA, they played really well in that game. Uh, took it to us all over the pitch, England just didn't look to have the desire for it tonight, so well done. Uh, but again, I, f I genuinely feel like I'm in bed at home. Uh, just one little problem, obviously I realised putting my feet right to the bottom, the outer wall of the hammock is a little bit chilly. I had my feet out of the sleeping bag, so I've now put them back in. Uh, but other than that, this is a phenomenal setup. Loving it. Oh. Well, I've got to get up early tomorrow. Uh, I've got to uh, plan the day camp with my cubs. Doing some fire lighting, some backwards cooking. Uh, that sort of thing, so uh, i set an alarm and get up fairly early. I reckon about between six and seven should be early enough, but we'll see. Uh, for now, I'm gonna chill out for a bit, uh, maybe edit a little bit of this video. Who knows? See you soon. Well, it's time to say goodnight, so I'll see you soon. That was a weird wake up call. Not so soon you could hear that on camera. It's gone off uh, just 10 minutes before my alarm or 12 minutes or whatever it was. All the, uh, the birds down here have been woken up or spooked or, or something. I so said, I need to get up. So thanks for that. Well, I've slept like a baby. <laughs> I think I finished talking to Mrs. about 11 ish, half 11, something like that, and then zonked. Game over. Being over and over, this sleeping bag is brilliant. Um, not had any feeling of cold coming from underneath either, so the pad obviously works. And flat there, as you can see, quite near the top. I don't feel too moved, but again, it's going to be like a learning curve with any, like it is with anything. I've got to get this exact hang every time now. You know, you're supposed to hang the head end slightly higher and whatnot with this, uh, as recommended by Haven themselves. So, I suppose if you hang it too high, you can end up sliding down. If you hang it too low, you can end up sliding up. Yeah, so I think I've got to get this exact hang. So I need to find uh, a little spirit level, I think. <laughs> well, I'm going to have five minutes just chilling. Uh, 
and then I'm going to jump out of bed and uh, get this torn down. I'll see you in a second. Well, ten past six. Time to get packed up. time's come to end this video so if you've watched this far please let me know in the comments that you've watched this far if you're not already please consider subscribing to the channel by pressing this in the middle i hope you've enjoyed it and if you have go downstairs and give it that big thumbs up again i'll see you guys in the next one